Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Have you ever been to a seminar before and you're sitting there and you read or you learn, you listen to something really good, and when you sit there you think, wow, this is something that is really good. When I come home, I will, and then you come home and you don't. Now, my job here today is to give you a lot of good ideas. The seminar is called Three Principles to Have Focus on Your Highest Priority All of the Time. That's what we're going to talk about. I want to tell you some good news. There's three principles. There's actually only two steps. If you want to have focus on your highest priority all of the time, it's actually just two things you need to do. Write this down. Number one, identify your highest priority. Number two, give it your highest priority all of the time. That's all it needs. Because I really believe anyone can give focus to things that are crying or screaming for our attention. Anybody can do that. Let's say I come home from work one day, and my wife has packed my suitcases, and she says something like this, seriously, I can't handle this anymore, out you go. No, we're not going there, but if, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, but if it does happen, I'm quite sure that I will know what I need to do to fix that. Let's say you sit in the office and one of your biggest customers call you up and they really just have a go at you because they're so fed up with whatever you've done wrong. Now, I'm quite sure that you will know what to do to fix that. Just drop everything else, just sort it out. Now, I believe anybody can do that. That's not the key. That's not the trick because anybody can do that. The trick is to never get in that situation. 2003... My oldest son, Connor, he was walking with the scouts 230 kilometers. That's a long walk for you guys that don't really understand that. Me and my colleagues, there were six of us, I think, we were going to be with, and we were with for the first two days. We walked 67 kilometers. That was the worst two days of my life. <laughs> I was so thrashed when I came home. Uh, one of the idiots that were with us, he was actually playing Inebandu the next day. Yeah, I didn't. I was completely dead. But anyway, we're not going to stand here and talk about my weaknesses all of the time. But the funny thing is, the guy that was leading this walk, he gave a tip that I thought was completely awesome. This is what he said. It was in the middle of the summer. Take note of this. He said, drink all the time because when you're thirsty, it's already too late. That can be applied any aspect of your life.